Hey, 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 all my funky junk friends. How are you guys today? <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. You guys, day three of the Winter Wonderland event. It's a four-day event. 72 crafters going um, all day during the day. So what an exciting event that has been happening. I hope that you've been following along and getting all kinds of fun ideas for Hello, Miss Jimmy Lou. Um... You guys, this event is being put on by Angie from the Crafty Bunch, by Rustic Daisies. Um, we're all being shared over into the Crafty Bunch. We're also being shared um, by Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner over into her group. And then there's a special group. It's a Winter Wonderland group. The uh, link is up in my description. I encourage you to go, f uh, you know, follow that group and go check out all of the um, replays. And it's going on again tomorrow, you guys. We still got stuff tomorrow, so lots of fun, fun, neat, neat crafts. Michelle just made a neat snow globe. I've never made a snow globe. I might have to go back and watch and pay a little closer attention and uh, get the stuff and do that. You know, isn't that how us crafters are? We see somebody do something and hey, we gotta do it too, yeah. That's how, that's how I am anyway. That's how I am. Hello, everybody. Let me make sure I am on my page. Sure I am because you guys are all saying hello. I see Miss Sandy saying hello. Um, pull it up here so I can make sure I check out all the comments. Um, hello, Susan. Hello, Paint and Crafty Melanie. It's Melanie's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's all you get. That's all you get. Thank you, Amy, for spreading the funk. And we've got Andrina here. We've got Tanya. We've got everybody. Everybody's here. Yay. Yay. All right, you guys, let's get started. 30 minutes today. So let's get going. You guys, of course, you know that I love my essential stencils. So we're going to do essential stencils. Now, here's my idea. This is the main thing. Winter Wonderland. That's the name of our of our event. So what a perfect stencil for that, right? Okay, so we're going to use that last. What I'm going to do is I want to put a background on here of some whites and some light blues. I don't know about you guys, but when I think of winter, hello, Miss Renee. Um, when I think of winter, I, blues and, and those colors come to my mind, you know, dark blue, light blue. But we're going to do some white and just kind of go up into the blues and kind of blend them together. Then we're going to take this wonderful tree stencil. And I'm going to put these stencils on here, covering the whole back, with one of these two green colors. They're kind of a light green color. Then we're going to possibly sand just a little bit. And we're going to put some antiquing glaze over the top of all that. Just to kind of get it into, um, because this, this hat itches my head, you guys. I'm going to take it off. Driving me crazy. <laughs> I think there's a tag back there. But anyway, because when I see this stencil, I see old-fashioned, um, worn, you know, weathered type of sign that they're on. And we're going to put this puppy right on top of all of that. So that's my idea. We'll see. You guys, I change my mind all the time. Hello, Pauline. Hello. Hello, Lois. We'll have to check replay sitting at the eye dot. Oh, that's the worst. Happen to sit and wait. Sit and wait. Okay, so I'm going to take... Thank you, Renee, for sharing me to the Stencil Soul Sisters group. Hello, Amy. Babysitting twins today, but trying to catch everybody. It's hard to catch everybody. It is. It is. But it's also a good thing, you know, to have to go back and watch some replays and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put this white... Oh, my goodness. Christy put way too much on there. So look, I'm just going to go ahead... And I'm going to grab some of that back off. And look at that, Christy. Shame, shame, shame. We'll just sit that over there because I can use it later. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to start putting some white on here. And I'm not going to be, you know, real fancy, fancy and make sure I got every spot. Um, my sign has already, I'm just going to run it up because I can mix it with my blues. You guys, I don't know why I always do that. I either put way too much paint on my stuff or not enough. <laughs> but anyway, this is already uh, has a uh, stain on it because the other side of this is a Christmas countdown, which um, I'm probably going to paint over, to be quite honest, because I already have like three of these. <laughs> 
in our house. So um, I'm probably going to end up painting over it. But my idea was a Christmas sign on one side and then a winter sign on the other to kind of, um, you know, it'll be a reversible sign that you can use after Christmas. Just flip it over. You know, okay. Now this blue is French blue. It's just a blue that I had. Um, I just thought it was a pretty blue. I still think it's a beautiful blue. It's something that I've had in my stash for a while. But see, I'm just kind of blending them together. You know, just I'm just doing a background, you guys. Me and my backgrounds. Love my backgrounds. So we're just going to have it go, you know, white and this blue and just kind of mix it all together. Um, if I have brush strokes, I'm okay with that because it'll look like the you know, the sky and stuff like that. Now I'm going to swap, switch over to this. This is called Sky Mist. How perfect. How perfect is that? Let's just squirt. Let's see if I can get a whole bunch of this on here too. <laughs> and it's just a lighter blue. Now you don't have to switch over to the lighter blue. You could just mix your, your, your blue that you were already doing with um, white and get a lighter blue. And if you notice, I did not change my brush. I'm still just using the same brush. I'm not, I didn't switch and put something else, which uh, you can do. That isn't a big deal. Now I'm just going to kind of make sure that they're all kind of blended together. And like I said, I don't, I don't need to be all the way out here to the edge. I don't need to make sure every single spot's covered because I'm going to put um, that antiquing glaze over the top. So it'll kind of blow push it all together. So see, that kind of looks like the snow and the sky a little bit. There's a little bit of right here. I don't like how um, it was a line right there. So I'm just going to kind of blend that a little bit more and um, trying to pick it up without getting it on my hands. There, that's a little bit better. So we're just going to do that right there. I'm going to sit my brush over here and um, I'm going to dry this a little bit so that we can go with the trees. And I'm going to say hello to everybody. Hello, Tammy's Treasure. Thank you for sprinkling. And Debbie. Hello, Debbie. She sprinkled also. Thank you. And Michelle. You guys, we've got tons of people here. Hey, Krista. How are you? Ooh, Deb said text BFF. You guys, if you want to know what it means when they say text BFF, um, I'm going to put right here, I'm going to put my texting service. If you want to know when I go live, well, it helps if I have comments up here. If you want to know when I go live, please join my texting service. I'll just pin it down there at the bottom. And uh, that way we can keep in touch with stuff that's going on. Or if something would happen and, you know, um, we say we're going to go live and we can't for whatever reason, I can just send you a quick text and let you know. Um, what's happening there so I don't send out texts like promotional texts or anything like that it's basically just when I go live that's all that's all so you probably wouldn't get more than one maybe two possibly um, from me and if you ask anybody that is on my texting service I don't bombard you with texts so okay this is getting pretty dry I'm okay if it's not completely dry because um, I just don't worry about stuff like that. I just don't worry about stuff like that. So, everybody that's saying text BFF, I'm going to put in a, that belong to my text service. Um, they're uh, going to be in a chance to win a drawing. We do do some of that sometimes on our text service. So, anyway. So, but you have to belong to the text service first. All right, so I'm going to put this on here, and I kind of want the trees all the way across. Now, I was looking... And I was trying to decide if I want to use this moss or this celery. And I'm thinking, because these are such bright type of colors, I think I'm going to pick out the celery and put it on there. But if we don't like it, we will, um, oh my goodness, um, we will. We can go over it with the other one. It's not a big deal. Don't, don't sweat the small stuff, you guys. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay, so anybody that's new to stenciling, you want to get your stencil brush out. You can use a sponge too, but it's kind of the same concept. All right. Now I got all that paint on there. It's way too much paint. I want to go over here onto a plate. I'm using a piece of cardboard because I had this box that came and I've cut it all up. I use everything, you guys. Just cut them up and use them. Um, I kind of wipe that paint off like that. Then I'm going in a swirling motion. 
All right. The reason I'm going in a swirling motion, I want that paint up in my bristles. See that? Okay. You want your brush as dry as you possibly can get. Okay. If you're having trouble getting your brush dry, get your paper towel and wipe it on a paper towel. Okay. And then just, just go for it. Now I go in a circular motion. Some people pounce and there are some instances that you need to pounce. So it's whatever you feel comfortable doing. And usually, however you first start stenciling is usually how you end up stenciling all the time. It seems like, you know, it's just like anything, you know, you just keep, uh, keep doing the same thing because it works. So anyway, now these bridges right here are kind of floppy because they're long where the two trees are connected. What I do is let me get some, um, let me get some more paint on my brush. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice, what I like to do is I put my brush right over the top of those thinner areas and I just kind of, I, I'm not pushing down. I'm just letting the paint get on there, okay? And by going right on top of that spot, it helps hold that stencil down because if I'm out here and I flip it and I cause it to move, then that's when I'm going to get some bleed through underneath there. So I love these trees. They do take a minute to stencil because they um, have so many details on them. And you wanna be careful when you're washing these that you don't bend over these little pokey things that are everywhere. Now, if you're new to stenciling, it is a good idea to tape down your, your stencil. I did not tape mine down. I, uh, to be honest, I forget a lot of times. And I just, I get excited and I want to get to stenciling and I just go. Now see, I had quite a bit of paint on my brush there. So I went right in the middle because we need to get some in the middle here. Now I don't have to get every single spot on this stencil. It's still a little wet there, so it's showing up blue, but that's okay. It's okay. Again, we don't, we don't worry about those kind of things. We don't worry about those kind of things. So I know, I love this tree stencil. I think I could put it on a ton of stuff. And see right here where this, this I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but it is sticking up a little bit. And I probably got overzealous when I was cleaning it and uh, probably bent it backwards, but it's it'll be okay. Just go right over the top of it. And uh, what you can do, and what I have done when I've done that before, is I've taken my hair dryer and got my stencil just warm, not hot, just a little bit warm, and then um, kind of bend that back down if that happens. So, because these are nice thick stencils, so you don't really have to worry about causing it to, you know, move real bad. Okay, now see, I'm gonna pull this off. Now look right there, you guys. Nothing special, all different colors of green, just in the background, okay? So now I'm gonna slide this right over and we're gonna do the same thing right here to put some more trees over here. Now, right here, I'm gonna end up going over some of the um, other tree that was on there, and I am perfectly okay with that. So, I'm just gonna go, and here we go. Let's just get moving, get this done so we can get it dry, and uh, get the antiquing glaze on here. So I think this is going to be pretty. In my head, I, I'm thinking this is going to look good. We'll see. We'll see. You know, sometimes you get an idea in your head, and then when you actually get it down on something, you're like, oh, that didn't exactly turn out how I wanted it to turn out. But, you know, I don't think you can really go wrong with trees in the winter wonderland and stuff like that. Yes, these are essential stencils. Yes, yes. Yes, they are. Um... <clears throat> the Winter Wonderland that I'm going to use um, last, the big stencil, is from last year. Um, this tree stencil is from their winter um, packet that they had. Um, I'm not sure if it's in stock or not. If you are interested in them and you need help finding them on the Essential Stencil page, please send me a message. And um, I can get you a direct link right to them if they still have them. Um, I can find it for you real easily. Um, and if you do order something from Essential Stencil, if you use my code Funky Junk, you'll save a little bit of money. Save a little bit of money. So there's that. All right. 
So now, now see how my stencil kind of pulls off the board here? Now, if I don't put something under that or hold this up and be very, very careful here, that is also going to cause you to have a little bit of bleed through. But when I put this on here, I did not pay attention. And I should have slid this over a little more so that I had more of the tree on the board because it's barely putting anything over there. But it's going to work. It's going to be just fine. It'll look fine. So here we go. All right, so see that? Now look, you guys, I didn't get every single spot or anything like that. I just want them in the background. See that? So it's just kind of a winter wonderland. And see where my, right there, my paint wasn't dry and my stencil stuck to that. That's, that doesn't bother me either. So now what I wanna do is I wanna get these pretty good and dry. And so, Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. No, they do not ship out, um, out of the, I don't, I don't even know if they ship to Canada, to be quite honest with you. I know that that's something that they've talked about and, um, you know, want to change, but I know, you know, everything is still so messed up and, and shipping is horrible. I, I'll give you guys an example. Um, we do a thing with the Crafty Bunch in the Messy Craft Corner called Crafters in the Kitchen, which we have a cookie bake-off coming up pretty soon. Okay. Well, a friend, she wanted an apron because I do the iron-ons and the aprons for everybody to wear. An apron normally packaged up and sent to somebody anywhere from 4 bucks to $8 to ship it, depending on where it was. $21 to send it to her in Canada. $21. Is shipping is horrible, and I don't understand that, you know? I mean, I know it has to go through customs and that kind of thing, but it just seems like it, it shouldn't be that much, you know what I mean? So that's that's I think that's why a lot of the companies, you know, have trouble with, uh, you know, because, I mean, they either have to eat it or, you know, if, if, if you wanted something, then you just have to pay that shipping. It's crazy. It shouldn't be like that. Shouldn't be like that. You know, shouldn't be like that. So, so, just checking to see if there's any more questions that I've seen. All right, now I'm going to use this Valspar Antiquing Glaze right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the whole thing. I'm going to go over the whole thing. I was going to um, hit it with a piece of sandpaper and make sure we don't have any edges sticking out. You know, where your paint is, sometimes you'll have little, little edges. I want it nice and smooth. And uh, that's all. That's all. Just that right there. And I had a rag. What I do with it? We'll just grab this one right here. Now, this is water-based. My paint is water-based, okay? So you've got to put it on and get done. You can't keep rubbing on it because you'll reactivate your paint. Does that make sense? And then, you're, then you'll have smears. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to put it on, okay? And we're going to wipe it off, all right? We're not going to keep playing with it, you know? We need to get it done. And, and if it's sloppy on here, it's okay. It'll look perfect when you're done because the main attention is the stencil that's going on top. And not only that, it makes it look a little bit more rustic when it's on here kind of blobby type, you know, where you have some good paint showing through and some antique paint showing through. I think that looks really cool. So just don't, you know, don't sweat the small stuff like I keep saying. I try to tell everybody that and encourage everybody to, you know, crafting, stenciling, painting. You guys, this is supposed to be fun and relaxing. It's not supposed to be stressful and, and like a job. It's supposed to be fun. So don't, don't sweat the small stuff. And my friend Lisa from Heart's Desire, she always says, if it makes you smile when you're done, it makes you happy, it's perfect. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or anybody else sees. It's perfect. So see, it just kind of looks like we've had this sign for a little while and it's just kind of hanging out there. So there we go. Hello, Kathy Morgan Clark. All right, let's get over to the main stencil. Woo! Now here's my dilemma. I can't decide if I'm thinking I want to stencil in white. 
But then I'm thinking I want a stencil in black. And then I even thought maybe dark blue. I don't know. So I think what we're going to start with is we're going to stencil it in white. And we're going to see what it looks like. Um, and then we might... Um, I don't know. We'll see how much time. Let's stencil it in white first. Um, and if we have enough time, maybe we'll do... Maybe we could do this Winter Wonderland part in dark blue... I don't know. Let's just see. Let's see how much time we've got. Now remember all that white paint that I had over here? It's right here on this rag. That's what I'm going to put on my stencil brush right there because you don't want to waste the paint, but it is just paint. Okay, so here we go. Again, I'm just going in a swirling motion and going right over it. And again, I'm not being real picky about um, getting every single spot. And also, my antiquing wax is probably not completely dry. So it may mix in with the white a little bit. So some of my white might be a little bit darker in some spots. And it might be a little lighter in some spots. Because that isn't completely dry. Now, ideally, you could wait and let it get completely dry if you wanted to. Or I just go. I just go. I love the weathered look. That's the right word. So see what the white looks like on there? I think that looks, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So we might just leave it white. But I was thinking I might do the one, the word winter and wonderland in navy blue. I don't know why, but in my head, I really want to get some navy blue on here. <laughs> I'm determined to get navy blue on this board. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, you guys, up after me is Jeannie from Jeannie's Palette. I can't imagine what she's going to do. I'm sure it's going to be something beautiful and wonderful. Um, if you don't uh, follow her page, I encourage you to follow her page also. Follow everybody's page. You get to see some neat stuff. Jeannie likes to do a lot of paint pours. I don't know what she's doing today. I don't know if she's going to do a paint pour today. Um, but she does some paint pouring. Um, sh she's an artist. She can paint beautifully beautifully so go check her out I do think there's a hair on here <laughs> let me get that off of here real quick I do from an inside scoop I might know that she is going to paint <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how I know I'm just kidding but I think she said she was going to do a paint project so it's going to be cool I'm sure I'm sure so make sure you check our friend Jeannie out from Jeannie's Palette. Her link is up in my description. Here in just a few minutes, I will post, put it on, um, I'll pin it down there at the bottom here in just a second. So you can go straight from my page to her page if you're on my page. If you're in the um, Winter Wonderland group, which I highly encourage you to join and get over there, all you gotta do is, um, you know, refresh your page, Pull your page down and refresh and give it like a minute and you can get the next crafter that way. Or if you're on the Messy Craft Corner or if you're on um, the Crafty Bunch page, same thing. Just refresh and go from there. Okay, now remember you guys, it's better to have to put multiple coats on something than to try to get it all, all the color that you want in one shot. Because the more paint you put on here, the more likely you're going to have a little bit of bleed through. So just remember that a little bit can go a long way. Thank host can't see me. I said hi from UK. Hello, Julie, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I've been looking down. I apologize if I missed you. I do try to go back, and anybody that says that they're new and stuff, I try to say hello to after the after the um, live. Um, but welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm going to kind of bend this up and see what it looks like. Let's see. Oh, you guys, I like it. I think it's turning out the way that I want. But I do think, I do think I want to put Wonderland in navy blue. I can't help it. I want blue on here. 
So I'm going to grab this nautical blue. It's uh, one of my favorite colors. I love this blue. Hello from Deep South Texas. And Viv Vivi, Vivi, she is new. Welcome, welcome. You can see this blue. Isn't that a pretty blue? We're going to do Wonderland in blue. Now, I can take my tape and tape off everywhere that I don't want to stencil. I can also take a piece of cardstock. Um, actually, our stencils come with um, pieces of black cardstock right here. It helps keep your stencils, you know, nice and nice and straight and stuff like that. Um, this is the stencil pack that that came from. Um, the other stencil you get with it is this Ice Skate Rentals. It's called Ice Skate Rentals. Oh, that's funny. But I cut these up sometimes, and then I can use them to kind of hold over the places that I don't want any um, color. You know, I don't want to stencil over. Okay, so here we go. we got a couple minutes, and we can get this done. I'm going to show you how quick and fast you can stencil. So you just have you a couple of them here, and just go. But I also, I'm always telling all my followers, don't sweat the small stuff. If you get, if you get a little bit of paint in a spot that you don't want, you're the only one that's going to see that. Nobody else is going to see that. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just paint. If you don't like it, paint over it, sand it off, start over. You know, all kinds of stuff. You don't have to, don't worry about stuff like that. Like I said, it's supposed to be relaxing and fun and for you. You know, for you. And I know this time of year, you guys, we can really get worked up on uh, perfection, doing all the things, and we just can't. You guys, we can't do all the things. We sure can try, but we cannot do all the things. And we have to tell ourselves it's okay to not do all the things. You know, if we don't get to the... Um, special Christmas lights that are out of town, it's okay. Not the, the world's not going to come to an end. You know, if we can't get all the Christmas presents that our kids want and our family wants, it's okay. It's okay. I promise you. It's okay. Now, see, look, I did that Wonderland in blue. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Now, I, I kind of would like to do all of the stuff in a bunch of different colors. I don't know that we would have time, but, um... I'm going to do, let's do the winter. Let's keep going. No, I, no, I need to just stop. I need to stop or I'm going to have a mess here. Let's see. I really like how that turned out, though. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I kind of want, you guys, I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. You guys, I'm going to grab this brown right here. We're going to hit the hot cocoa with the brown right here okay so I'm gonna hit hot cocoa with the brown right here but see how fast I get this done you just boop 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 and you're done it's a quick easy way to make something cute and awesome um, for your home that's why I love the stenciling stuff I like to spend the time on the background and um, the ice skating I kind of want to do, and let's do, let's pick this blue out. Well, yeah. No, let's do, um, let's grab this color, because I'm just going to town here. See, change my mind. Constantly changing my mind. Constantly changing my mind. So this is kind of an aqua blue. You know, it makes you think a little bit, think of ice a little bit. See this right here? Real fast, right there. Now I'm going to grab some red right here, and we're going to do Christmas carols in red. And what I'm probably going to do is I probably take a little bit more of the Valspar and go over the um, over it again to give it an even more distressed look, you know. So I'm gonna leave this on this line. I really want to do this and get this done so you guys can see what it looks like. But I completely changed my mind here. That's too funny. So I try to I try to have my stuff planned out, but I'm like a squirrel. 
I see stuff and I'm like, oh, 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 let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm trying to think maybe that winter should be um, a color too, but let's look. Let's look and see what we look like. Yes, I like that. I think the winter needs to be a color. So I'm just going to reach back here and I'm just going to grab another blue. Um, I don't care what color blue it is. That's not open. Let's pick one up that's open. And um, we'll do the winter in this blue right here. I just need a tish. Um, I was just going to use this same brush right here. Right there. And look at that. got paint over on the side that I didn't want to get it on, but I'm okay. It's going to be all right. I got paint everywhere, you guys. Paint everywhere. So, anyway, you guys, Jeannie's palette is up after me. I encourage you to go check her out and follow her. Go get in the group for the Winter Wonderland event. Um, 72 crafters over four days. We are on day three. We've got tomorrow, too. So it's a wonderful event. You get to see all kinds of stuff. You may find your next um, favorite crafter. And I got to go. My time's up. There we go. I'll take a picture and show it to you guys. You guys have a great day. I apologize, Jeannie. Go check her out. Bye-bye. Purple would have been great.